buddy Rick here and I decided that I finally wanted to do a pickups video because why not I got Portland Retro coming up next weekend uh, the 21st through the 23rd um, and if you've been following me on any of my social media outlets Twitter Instagram or friends of mine on Facebook then you know that I've been collecting games for the last well for a while but seriously collecting for the last couple maybe about a year or so and I've yet to do a pickups video on it I've always just done pictures so I figured what the hell I'll start one now so I went today went to the Goodwill didn't find too much good stuff it was just a quick little spur of the moment trip but I did get some cool things all for about uh, eight bucks all right so let's start off with this first so we found this found crash the PS2 I know it's reflecting all crappy because apparently my webcam doesn't want to work today so that's fun right why would it but uh, crash team twin sanity uh, complete paid about a dollar for it so I mean that's cool right uh, game I didn't have and then um, I have recently started well not recently but I have started watching a uh, another YouTube collector uh, middle Jesus rocks from up in Seattle uh, cool dude awesome collector awesome videos check them out um, but he talked about how he liked to collect big box PC games because they're cool and they're not really around that much anymore because of Steam and stuff. And, well, he, quite frankly, he's right. So now anytime I see one, if it's a reasonable price and I don't have it, then I'll pick it up. Uh, so anyway, I got this for a dollar today. Box is beat to heck, as you can see. But Call of Duty 1 for the PC. Everything's in there. Book, the CDs. I mean, for a dollar. For a dollar. You can't beat that. And then, what luck, somebody must have gave up all their PC collection because number two was there. Yeah. Completing the Velcro. Cool little thing. And uh, what's really cool about this one is everything was actually in there. So all, all six plus, yeah, all six C's were in there. All perfect condition, a dollar. That's pretty cool. Uh, next one I saw, and I was I was kind of iffy on, but I figured, what the hell, why not? It'd be about a buck or so. Box is not in that great a shape, but uh, Halo Combat Evolve, kind of cool. Never actually played it for the PC. It's in there. Like I said, the box is kind of crappy. I don't know if you can see it too well, but there's like a little somebody tried to step on Master Chief and break his shoulder plates. Dicks. But for a buck, why not, right? Uh, and then one other thing, the last thing, well, not last thing, let's, uh, let's show, I'll show you this first. Uh, went to Legendary Games the other day to try to find a USB NES controller to practice up for the, uh, World Championships coming up, and Portland Retro Gaming Expo, you know, that stuff. Uh, but anyway, they had a bin with games in it, mostly Xbox One, or original, I should say, nowadays, and PS1 games in it, but they were, it said four nine nine and under, so now you're going, okay, it's probably all sports games, and... Yeah, quite frankly, most of them were all really shitty sports games that nobody really wants. But uh, then I came across this, and I was like, well, you don't usually see these every day. I don't know if you can see it, but it's uh, Sega Saturn Eternal Champions Challenge from the Dark Side. Got it for three bucks. You don't see any Sega CD games every day. And I have Eternal Champions on the Genesis and love it. Great fighting game. Never played this one. I have to find a Sega CD to play it, but yeah, why not, right? Okay, now. I really gotta say why not. I gotta stop saying why not. Hmm. Anyway. Wow. I'm actually nervous. This is weird. I'm usually never nervous on camera. Uh, but this I found, and I wasn't sure what the hell it was. Um, or what it even went to. But I mean, after looking at it and reading the manual and actually just kind of flipping it over and looking on the, on the back, you can tell it's, uh, for the old personal Palm Pilot. Computer Pilots. But anyway... It's handmarked board game games. I don't seem too well. See, there, there we go. That reflection is killing me. But uh, you got Yahtzee, Scrabble, Battleship, and Monopoly. But uh, I just, you just don't, I've never really seen one of these before. So it's kind of cool. It comes with a CD. And then up here it comes with a, uh, with a, uh, it looks basically it's the same size as a memory card. But it's the uh, card with the games on it. So, you know, like, never really seen that. Don't know if it's worth anything or not, but hell, thought it was really cool. Opened it up, 
came with the original thing that it hung on, and then also came with a uh, receipt from Staples. So there's that. Bought it in uh, oh, Redmond, Washington, for $49.99. Cool. Back in 2005. So there you go. Stated. Uh, anyway, that wasn't the greatest pick of video I know. Kind of long, longer than I wanted it to be. Uh, but I figured, what the hell, I'll start making them. I'm picking up cool stuff all the time. I mean, seriously, I have, if you guys haven't seen, I have a collection of just really cool PC stuff. And got my TV with my my games and stuff on it. So, you know, I mean, this, this is all kinds of cool stuff. But uh, thanks for watching. If you guys liked it, let me know. If you want to see more, let me know. If you thought it was horrible, let me know. I don't care either way. Uh, yeah, I'm never good at outros. <laughs>